Hi there. This is going to be a collective reading. It's going to be an intimate reading in the extended version. But in this YouTube version, we are going to pull some oracle cards and see what else we're led to do. But in the extended, if you want to purchase it, the link is below. Always go to special love slash oracle readings at my website, okay? Only regular zodiac signs are under zodiac extended readings, okay? If it's not a zodiac sign, then look under special love always double check the title of it too before you purchase okay <clears throat> all right guys let's see what we got i apologize if you hear a lawnmower coming in soon because it's like in the background i can hear it and today in hawaii until 4 30 today um is the day well at 4 30 today in hawaii it starts where it's only essential workers and as you know landscapers is not essential so i'm sure they're trying to hurry up and do whatever they can do now right so we're just all trying to do our job right we can look at it like oh my god it's loud but you know what we all trying to work give your relationship a chance work on your partnership some of you are going to want to give up on something right away because i don't know if that's out of fear I, I can't tell but it almost feels like you you pull away you were the other person it could be because it just is so so overwhelming and maybe it's because you've never felt anything like this because whatever this is coming let's look at that see whatever it is coming in i was gonna say is big wedding <sighs> this situation involves marriage it's meeting like somebody where the energy is just like insane look at her she's looking at him kind of like side eyeing him she's kind of like what if he wakes up tomorrow and doesn't love me anymore is this too good to be true why is he choosing me of everybody? She, it's like she's kind of got this energy of like nervous. Now, don't get me wrong. It could also be the opposite where the, the masculine or the male is the one that has these like feelings. But in the card, it shows one person, the female. <coughs> this doesn't mean that it's her. But I feel like somebody, if not both, have a feeling of like, is it too good to be true? Is it just my imagination once again? running away from me it was just my imagination see extreme passion playfulness it's like the whole package it's like it's your best friend it's like your confidant many people are going to be getting into connection with people their partners during this time of isolation and quarantine sounds weird right but isn't that when we would least expect it we think oh our dating life is over not really it's almost as if it's just beginning the end is the beginning right this is somebody oh shit see it comes in at the midnight hour oh my god it's what you prayed for the cross is about spirituality divinity religion prayers but it also is about of uh, having faith a situation requiring faith and that's exactly what i was talking about so a lot of people went great so that's it great so it's, i'm never going to meet nobody now no it's not it at all don't think like that or you'll create that it's about being positive but it's also about right now it's just not even in love straight across the board faith is required here we're having faith in each other faith in ourselves faith in humanity faith that we're going to get through this that if we just all do our parts lock ourselves down for the needed amount of time so the spread stops whether you believe in it or not it doesn't matter do your part just because you believe in it or not if you say it's not real it doesn't matter because it's still going to be quarantine time so like just get with the program you know and like so we can get it over with so that people can not get sick so that the spread doesn't happen so that people don't continuously keep losing their jobs or stay out of work for longer right faith is so important right now in everything if you have faith i feel like it will work out the clock tower is about enlightenment it's sudden it's striking it could be something at midnight it's also separation so somebody could instantly break up or you have an instant separation from something and it's true right a lot of people it's a separation of work separation from even a partner too the mice this is chaos worry anxiety fears this we cannot do this must do this it must shadow it yeah we cannot let this run us because the mice is oh my god problems and mistakes and worries and anxiety and oh my god oh my god oh my god 
We gotta have faith, we have to. Faith is believing in something that we cannot see. Even though I can't see it, I know that the best is yet to come. And even though I can't see it just yet and all the solutions or how it's gonna work out, I just believe and I have faith that it will. You have here the gentleman. There is a gentleman who thinks you are the cat's meow. <laughs> Oh my God, look, there he is again, the rider. I'm sure there'll be a bunch of riding our ride later on when we can physically see each other. The rider is a younger person, a young lover. So they could, there could be younger age gap of something. It's a message, it's a visit. I mean, they're gonna have to visit FaceTime wise, telephone wise, but isn't that what's fun? That's what's playful. It's kind of like being back in elementary or, I'm sorry, not elementary, but because in my in, in my younger days, honey, we didn't have no damn FaceTime and shit. We had telephone, corded telephone, and, and and some of us had cordless, but not at my house, my grandparents' house, my grandparents' house. They had cordless, but at our house, we just had a regular phone, Wonder Phone. You guys remember Wonder Phone? I feel like that's how a lot of us will connect. But now we're lucky, yeah, with technology, we can FaceTime each other. There's, it's news and it's messages. I feel like it'll be a lot of, excuse me, this side. News and messages happening. And for some of you, it's kind of like the message that comes in at the very last second or a message that comes in that you're thinking no fucking ways. Like, it, there's just no ways in hell. Why would this person be, why would you, why, why are you messaging me? Why are you thinking about me? But like, I feel like they're thinking about you and then they're wondering, is it just in their imagination? Because it's almost like they feel this pull or this nudge. Whether it's someone from your past or it's someone new. No exclamation mark. It's no, it's not just your imagination. Now, this is not giving the A-OK -okay to stalkers or stage five clingers. Okay? That's not for you. If it's unrequited, it's unrequited. Okay? Right? It's about discernment. It's about realizing what's delusion and what's real. This is not the A-OK -okay and the green flag to go and, like, stalk somebody. This is about, this is, like... It's mutual, but maybe it hasn't quite developed just yet or manifested. So is it in your imagination? Nah. But then for those of you that it's unrequited, it's like, no, hell no, don't go and, you know, reach out. Use discernment, trust your gut. Ask for help from others. It's a lot of praying we're going to be doing, right? They say pray the hardest when it's hardest to pray. It's a damn truth, too. It's going to take an extreme act of us just having faith in each other, even if you don't believe in religion. The thing about it is, is that when we are awakening or awakened, meaning that we're just tapped into the truth, we see things differently. It is us seeing that it's not about religion, right? It's about spirituality. It's basically, prayer is like manifestation. It's like law of attraction. Ask, believe, receive. It's just There's different labels to things, right? Labels are 3D. Now, ask for help from others, whether this is prayer, so asking for help from divine spiritual, you know, people, <coughs> or means. A lot of people are reaching out for readings because, you know, we ain't got nothing else to do, really. But also because, well, the, we're tapping into extreme psychic energy, but there are also a lot of things that we cannot see because it's part of the process for you not to know because you'll probably fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> but probably because it's a surprise. Ooh. You reconsider. For some of you, I feel like, and this is not some, excuse me, it's a huge majority of people. And I've talked about this several times on my Instagram lives, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, where because now we are being faced with this worldwide pandemic and it's just a lot of crisis happening right now and we're really being checked and a lot of things are being put into perspective for us. A lot of prayers are being altered and changed so we're praying for different things is what it is if we are no longer just praying for please let me meet my child back and it's just so that you guys can get married and snuggle and have kids and just live your best life we're asking for our soulmates or twin flames whatever you're feeling that resonates with you because we want somebody to be at our side our partner to go to war with you know and it's not to say that there's a war but you know it's just that's just the term we don't want to panic people it's not about that it's we're facing a lot and it's great to have somebody that's there with you you know you're a confidant someone who's going to be 
on your team. Someone you can depend on. Someone that's going to be loyal and faithful. I think if you have faith, though, man, I'm telling you right now, I think it's going to create wonders. These two cards, you see, the, they're in the prayer stamp like this. Something about that. Even if it's not praying, dear God, even if it's just praying, dear universe, dear source, dear Buddha, dear humanity, dear everybody in the world. asking it's believing and it's receiving okay that's huge i'm gonna do a small spread with the tarot cards regular tarot this is the i think it's the what is it called i forget there's a book i don't know what it's called i forget gorgeous cards though and then i'm gonna do in the extended sexual tarot magic deck as well as this other deck that was gifted to me by Anna Galana. This is called Tarot of Desires. So I'll be using both of these decks in the extended. Okay, it has sexual images, so do not purchase if that makes you uncomfortable or if you're not of age. Now, we have Five of Swords. Oh, somebody over here trying to talk themselves out of some shit. That's what I felt here right from the get-go. Talking myself out of it, fooling away, thinking it's too good to be true. Why would they want me? Why am I getting this now? In quarantine? Really? That's weird. Like, I, I don't get it. It's also not having faith, right? Giving up, losing help, and that's the last thing you can do right now. That's the last thing we should be doing right now. Right now is the time when we really just have to say, it's going to be okay. And if you hear other people losing faith and losing hope, you, it's here we are. You, you don't got toilet paper? Bitch, give me, I'm going to give you some. You, 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 what are you worried about? You don't got food for your kids because a hoarder's bought it all? It's about if you overhear these things, if your neighbors, if your friends, if your family, we are here to pull together for each other. We cannot hoard and be selfish. We need to be protected, sure, but we also have to be, we, we are all connected, okay? This is about contemplation. I'm going to leave it at that. Four of Pentacles, see, they're climbing up. And then you have the Ace of Wands, which is something new, new relationship, something passionate, something that is it's startling. Why is it startling? Because I feel like somebody is feeling like, wow, I've never felt this way. Just talking to somebody over the phone. Like, how could I be? <coughs> How could I be so in love with somebody like that? Like just talking to him on the phone or like falling for somebody quickly. <coughs> Honey, it's a lot of that, right? Sorry, let me hand sanitize after I cough. I've been not feeling well for a minute. On top of my allergies and stuff, you know, I have asthma and it's spring and they're cutting out there. You know, the grass, I can smell it already and already it's triggering me to cough and start, I'm gonna start sneezing soon too, I'm sure. So bear with me, I'm sorry. Um, this is about a handout. This could also be reaching out. This could also be, it's an olive branch for some of you if this is somebody coming back from the past. Maybe it's giving someone a chance. Not saying everybody deserves one, honey. You better be careful with that shit. Mm. The two of cups, two of hearts, two hearts that beat as one. I need you, I need you, two of hearts, two of cups. Well, would you look at that? Soulmates, twin flames, I don't know, whatever resonates with you, okay? Twin flames would be coming together soon though, right? I mean, the twin flame thing is about two people coming together because they have a mission together. Now would be the time for missions, huh? It also can just be soulmate, romantic love, where you don't have a mission. You guys are just happily ever after. But it's not going to be perfect. I can hear the lawnmower coming around. I apologize, you guys. Um, this is a connection between two people. She's... Look at them. They're both... Look at the way the card's laid out, too. They're both backs are facing each other they're both scared they're getting nervous this can also be because in quarantine you're getting nervous <coughs> well how is this going to work 
great, so I just, oh great, so I met somebody online, they, I, I can't see them, great, how's this gonna work? It's like, don't overthink it, have faith that everything will work out, okay? It will work out. Don't worry about little things like that, don't worry about, I know it's, it's big, but it's little com in comparison to everything else. Have faith. Something tells me this passionate, spicy, sexual, playful connection could lead to something really big, could lead to this, if you let it and you don't overthink it, right? Okay, I'm gonna do a, uh, like I said, in the extended, if you wanna purchase it, click on the link below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys very much. Also, if you wanna book a reading with me, please click on the description box below and, and check to see what I offer first, then email me with what you want so I can invoice you for payment. Please do not just send payments to Venmo or to PayPal. There's a process for booking, okay? Please try and follow the process so that we can actually, you know, be a little bit more organized here, okay? And it takes me a minute to respond back to people, especially right now because I'm just finding that a lot of people want readings right now, okay? So it takes a few days to up to a week sometimes for me to be able to respond back to you, okay? Or even just check your email first. But because we ain't got shit else to do right now, and I know you guys really are bored and want to want the reading, I'm being very proactive about checking things right away, okay? So Thank you for your patience with me and I'll see you guys in the extended. Love you.